favourite Nick Kyrgios is out of the Australian Open after Bulgarian Grigor Dimitrov kept his cool in the fourth round thriller last night to discuss all the match and everything that is coming up today and the action that we saw over the weekend. Coach, commentator, former player Louise Fleming is here in the studio. Welcome back to News Breakfast, Lou. Thanks, what did you make of the match last night? Nick Kyrgios, he did bow out. However, he's enjoyed a lot of popularity this tournament when it comes to the home fans. Yeah, he has. He came across really well last night. He gave absolutely everything, I think. He was a little unlucky in both uh, the first two sets, obviously losing those two in a tiebreaker. I think the way he approached the match was, was really positive. He got a little frustrated in the second set when he was, uh, he was worried about his strings. He sent his tennis racket out to get it restrung. But there were so many positives. Um, Look, I think he's really turned a corner. For me, I think this is the new the new way forwards for Nick Kyrgios. He is maturing. Even around the grounds, just every day, he's just a lot more relaxed. I think he's just being... Well, you mentioned the frustration that we saw in the second set, but he didn't lose his head. No, exactly. He didn't. He got a little frustrated, you're right, but then regained in the third mm. set, came back, mm. broke and uh, showed some signs then. He has won from two sets to love down. And so I think that was the positive thing that he was really aiming at. Whereas Grigor has never lost a match when he was two sets to love up. So Grigor really played a great match. I think he had something to prove after losing to Nick in Brisbane. Yes. And uh, yeah, he, he just showed why he's number three uh, in the world at the moment. And Nick's still got to do a little bit more work, perhaps with his fitness, perhaps with going deep into a four set, five set. That's mm -hmm. where there's just starting to be a few little signs that he's not quite ready to match it with the Federers, Nadals and even a Grigor. And so Dimitrov now, where do you see him sitting in this tournament? He's, go he's made it through to the quarterfinals, going to yeah. be up against an unseeded player in those, the Brick Kyle Edmund. How did you see his form last night? Because we do know he has been tested throughout the earlier rounds as well because yep. he has played a five-setter, we must remember, against another unknown. But do you think that he could be a favourite to take out his he's maiden grand slam? He's definitely a contestant. There's no <laughs> question about that. Uh, he's, you know, he's been playing some fantastic tennis coming into here, getting to the semi-finals of Brisbane. Mm. He's got a big game. He's got a massive serve. We love this backhand here. Yeah, like the fed backhand. It, it's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? Baby fed, we've called him. Yes. But really now he's starting to mature. Mm. Um, I love his attitude. He is a cool customer around the courts. He's just adorable. He's charming. He really is taking a leaf out of Roger Federer's book. Mm. Um, I, I just love the way he goes about his business. He's aggressive. He can come forwards. And he needs to keep moving forwards as well to finish some of these points. Because that match last night with three tiebreak sets... That has taken a little bit of toll, but Carl Edmonds mm -hmm. is playing beyond. I think he's just about run out of his winning streak. Yeah. This is his fifth match. He, he, I don't think he's got it in him. He hasn't got the firepower to, to test uh, Dimitrov. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, there's a guy, there's a lefty at the other <laughs> end of uh, the semifinals. If he's to get through to the semifinals, I don't think he can get past mm -hmm. a, a refa. I just think Rafa's in Let's talk great about the form. lefty. So he progressed in four sets yesterday against mm -hmm. Diego Schwartzman, but it was quite tight there. And we saw Rafa in a position we haven't seen him in in a while where he had to fight back after that second set. Yeah, look, Schwartzman, he is an incredible athlete. This oh. young man is such a fighter. Look at him. He's four feet behind the baseline. Rafa's climbing all over the baseline, trying to be aggressive. And he was really looking to dictate. And I know after the match... He was really perspiring. He was absolutely spent in his aftermatch uh, mm -hmm. interview. He just said, I'm really, really tired. So uh, each match is a physical test, not just a, a mental test for Rafa, but really if he's feeling fresh and he's going to have to feel mm -hmm. pretty good to play the likes of, of a Dimitrov, he's going to be tested there. Dimitrov's got youth on his side physically. Um, he's probably in a better position than Rafa. But Rafa just seems to lift and, and he's sensational, isn't he? When he's at Grand Slam level, he's only ever won it here once in Australia. So he's hungry and, uh, well, I think Rafa Nadal, mm -hmm. I mean, you can't really go past him, can, well, can you? Well, you can't unless you go to Roger Federer, of course, his arch rival. So we're still hoping for the Fadal 2.0. Lou, we might get you back <laughs> in at the end of the week to go through what's happening with the women's draw, but a few people to watch out in action today. Simona Halep, Anjali Kerber, after some pretty 
epic matches that we saw from them over the weekend. Lou Fleming, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, George. Enjoy the rest of your time on court today. Thank you.